In his first start of the season inside Coors Field, John Gray was looking like an ace until the fourth when disaster struck and the Padres took a lead they would never give up. Hello and welcome to the Denver Post Sports Desk. I'm Carrie Ankeo and this is Sports Minute. With four first pitch strikes to the first four batters, John Gray was looking like he was going to dominate last night's game until the fourth inning got away from him as the Rockies allowed five runs, eventually losing 7-6. to six. All six of the Rockies' scored runs came off of home runs, with Ian Desmond going yard in the second, catcher Chris Iannetta hitting a three-run homer, his first of the season in the top of the fourth, and Cargo barely earning a two-run homer in the bottom of the sixth. Cargo's play went under review due to potential fan interference as Sprangdenberg crashed into the wall, dropping a would-be catch into the stands with a spectator's hand seen very close to the play. It was not overturned, however, and the Padres manager Andy Green was shortly ejected after losing his mind over the call. Back in center field and batting first in the rotation was Charlie Blackman, who left Saturday night's game early and sat out Sunday afternoon due to tightness in his back but is expected to play in the rest of the series as the Rockies will take on the Padres again Tuesday night at 6.40 and Wednesday afternoon at 1.10 before heading out to Washington for the weekend. Thanks for tuning in today, and as always, make sure to check back to the denverpost.com sports for all your Rockies game recap and analysis.